we are going to degrade and ultimately defeat ISIL the same way that we have gone after Al Qaeda. Just hours ago, the most forceful words from President Obama yet as he vows to stop ISIS in its tracks. But the parents of this member of SEAL Team 6 who trained here in San Diego told 10 News they don't buy it. They're demanding the president resign nearly three years after Aaron Vaughn was killed in Afghanistan. New at 6 o'clock, 10 News reporter Melissa Masiha shows us how the recent beheadings of two journalists by ISIS prompted them to voice their anger. Aaron Vaughn was Billy and Karen Vaughn's only son. I remember most about him is that he just loved life so much. It's been three years since his helicopter was shot down over Afghanistan. 22 Navy SEALs, many part of the elite SEAL Team 6, including the father of two, were killed. With the recent execution of journalist James Foley and now Stephen Sotloff, his parents are no longer sitting silent. In this letter, first printed by the World Tribune, Karen and her husband said the president has cost lives. The letter goes on to say his, quote, cowardly lack of leadership has left a gaping hole not only in America's security, but the security of the entire globe. We're in a heap of danger, and it appears that he did nothing to prevent it. And America can't be a reactive country. We are the leader. The Vons criticized the president's decision to play golf, quote, fist pounding your buddies immediately after speaking on the beheading of American journalist James Foley. The parents of the fallen Navy SEAL say President Obama is not up to the job of being commander in chief. We had failed foreign policies, we've had failed national security, we've had breaches of national security unlike any in our history, and the buck has to stop somewhere. And, and that's the only place I can point my finger right now is the highest place, the President of, of the United States. It's unclear whether President Obama will respond to this letter. Aaron Vaughn's father, Billy, is also the author of the book Betrayed, in which he questions the current military strategy that he said led to his son's death. Melissa Masiha, 10 News.